You're watching WMAR 2 News. With this digital news update, I'm Kelly Swoop. Next week, the primary election in our state coming your way Tuesday, the day to postmark your mail-in ballot, drop it in a box or go out on Tuesday and cast your vote in person. A lot of Marylanders have yet to cast their ballots. In all, more than 182,000 Marylanders voted early this year. That is 40,000 fewer voters than in early voting in the 2018 primary election. For more information on dates and deadlines for the election, go to WMER2news.com slash election guide 2022. With the summer and full spring, the upcoming school year might be the last thing on your mind, but it is never too early to start helping those in need. The Boys and Girls Club Maryland Alliance, along with the State Department of Education and the Department of Transportation, are collecting school supplies for students. There are over 50 donation spots across the state. You can also make a donation online. The collection runs through July 29th. We've got a full list of the drop-off locations for you at WMER2news.com. The Boss is coming to Baltimore. Bruce Springsteen and the E Street Band will be the grand opening performance at the newly restored Baltimore Arena. Fans can relive their glory days or just do some good old-fashioned dancing in the dark. The show was part of a 31-date U.S. tour and will take place on April 7th, 2023. Tickets go on sale on Ticketmaster's verified fan platform on Tuesday, July 26. There is a link on our website, WMER2news.com. That'll take you right to where you can buy them. Springsteen first performed at the Baltimore Arena on June 2nd, 1973. And now from WMAR2 News, Maryland's most accurate forecast. And we are looking at the chance for some showers in the forecast for this weekend, especially as we head into your Sunday afternoon, keeping it partly to mostly cloudy for the start of the day. And then those isolated sh showers are going to be building in from the west towards the east. That's going to linger through the evening hours. Unfortunately, more rain to come as we head into your Monday. Temperatures warming into the mid to upper 80s with heat indices that'll hit the 90s. And unfortunately, it gets even hotter as we head into the work week next week. Talking about numbers that are eventually climbing into the 90s by winter. Wednesday, we're at 95 degrees, but feeling like 101. So the heat and humidity dominates the forecast. Sunny near 92 by Friday. Stick with us online for updates on top stories and breaking news. And also for news and weather while you're on the go, download the WMER2 News app in your app store. You can watch live radar and get breaking news sent straight to your phone.